Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on real quick and let you guys know what's been going on and why I've been missing for a month. So first let me say I am getting over a cold so my voice is like going because of the fact that I've been having this cough that will not go away and it's getting to the point where I'm losing my voice because I also have to yell at my kids and my husband during the day. <laughs> just kidding. It's a joke. Um, so I have been gone for a month. <coughs> Last time I saw you guys, it was the giveaway um, stuff. I can't remember if I was announcing it or um, what happened. <coughs> but it had to do with my 1K giveaway. So. Since then, my dad came out the following weekend, um, so it was nice seeing him and going and doing things together when I haven't seen him in over four years, so that was really nice, and then that following week, because he was here until Wednesday, we dropped him off on Wednesday morning, and then that following week, I ended up going to the doctors because I've been having a lot of excuse me, health issues, um, for the past two to three years. So I tried brushing it off, trying to explain it logically, like, oh, I'm getting headaches because I'm not drinking enough water, or I'm feeling nauseous because I'm not eating enough vegetables. So I was trying to logically explain away a lot of symptoms that I was having. And it wasn't until talking to some of the women in the homeschool group and also my mother-in-law about autoimmune disorders or diseases. I think they're disorders. I don't think they're a disease because they're not spreadable. But I could be wrong. That's not. That could be wrong. But I feel like disease sounds like something that you can catch and it's like, you know, super duper deadly. You know, like you're going to die from it. I say disorder. Um, so I was talking to them about the autoimmune stuff and food allergies came up into the topic quite a few times. So I finally decided, okay, I'm going to go to the doctor. I'm going to tell them all my symptoms and I'm going to get an allergy test done. And then I was looking into autoimmune disorders and my husband kept telling me, it's probably the gluten, it's probably the gluten. Sounds like you have a gluten intolerance. And I was like, but I've eaten bread all my life. Like, why would I get a gluten intolerance out of nowhere after having Colin? Turns out that is a symptom of celiac disease or celiac disorder. It's an autoimmune disorder, celiac disease. I go in, I tell him, my doctor was originally thinking it's dairy, that I was lactose intolerant. And I told her, I was like, you know what? I want to be tested for celiac as well because I have a lot of the symptoms that I've seen online. And I know doctors hate that when patients come in and tell them, oh, I think I have this because a lot of the times those people tend to be the ones that are like hypochondriacs. And I know they're doctors. That's a profession. They've studied for years. But if you're not educated enough to know what you could possibly have and help them out, you know, Half the time when I've gone in and think and thought it was something, either the doctor thought it could be that as well, or I did have it. So, um, yeah, like when I was pregnant with my son, I was super allergic to whatever was in my birth, not my birth control, my um, prenatals. And we couldn't figure out why I was having a rash on like 60% of my body. And I was scratching to the point where I wasn't even sleeping. I didn't sleep for like two days because I was itching so bad. And it turned out I was allergic to my prenatals and we couldn't figure out why. Why was I all of a sudden allergic to them when they were the same exact ones I used when I was pregnant with Emma? We thought it was something else. Me and the doctor thought it was something else. So I tested for it and luckily I didn't have that because it was bad. Um... But I told her I wanted to be tested for celiac. I wanted I wanted to rule it out. I was hoping I didn't have it because it would really suck. 
but at the same time, I was hoping I did so I could have answers, so I would know what to do to fix it. Because if I didn't have celiac and I didn't have food allergies, then what the heck's wrong with me, you know? So went into the doctor, they drew, drew the blood to do the blood tests and the allergy tests and all this stuff. I had to wait for oh, almost a week. I waited a week, but it would have been more than a week if I didn't keep calling them. Because <laughs> I knew they had them in, like, so I went in, I believe, on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And they had them by Friday, but I didn't get the results until next Thursday. And I, the nurse told me that they had it on Friday on the following Monday. So I was like, I'm not going to wait for another freaking week. So I kept calling them and bugging them and bugging them. And I'm like, I need to know these results like now, um, which I know they probably annoyed them, but it was kind of important. <laughs> Turned out I tested positive for celiac disease. So they are now sketched. Oh, and I'm allergic to almonds. And I had just got done switching off of cow's milk because I thought I was lactose intolerant because the doctor said so or thought I was. And she's like, cut out dairy. And I was like, okay, I'll cut out dairy. But I was already transitioning to almond milk. And then I find out like a month later after transitioning that I'm allergic to almonds and I'm not supposed to eat them. <laughs> That's like my only food allergy apparently is almonds. So then I had to schedule an appointment with the gastroenterologist to meet with him, go over my symptoms, and then schedule a procedure that I'm supposed to be having on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. Um, so I have to have a endoscope. I can't. I want to. I when I think of it in my brain, it comes out right. But when I have to say it, it comes out as like endoscopy or en endoscopy. <laughs> like, and, and, uh, uh, endoscopy. There we go. That's the right word. I have to have an endoscopy done. So basically they're going to stick like a giant, not a giant hose, a little hose all the way down into my stomach, into my lower intestines to see the damage that's been done from having celiac undiagnosed for two to three years. And also they want a biopsy to confirm my diagnosis. So I have been a little overwhelmed with that because I have to change my entire way of eating, especially because people that tend to have celiac also have a lot of other intolerances. My mother-in-law, for instance, has, she wasn't diagnosed with celiac, but she has a lot of food intolerances. So that tends to come along with celiac. You can't eat certain foods. And typically it's things like obviously gluten, which is in wheat, barley, and rye. So any products, any foods that have that in there, I cannot eat anymore. Um, I can't even eat it if like chicken nuggets were fried in the same fryer as french fries. I can't even eat those now. Like super strict. Um, so that has been going on. And then on the lighter side of it, I am now dyeing yarn professionally. Um, I want it. I know I said I wouldn't, but I needed something that I could do that was going to make money that I could. So doing crochet patterns as much as I want to become a full-time designer, that would be amazing. I couldn't crank out the patterns fast enough um, because of my hands and my back from just having joint pain and back pain. Um, it was becoming really hard. Hi, can you close the door? I'm almost done. What? What? I wanted you. You wanted me? Yeah. How was your ice cream? Good. Okay. Um, so I couldn't do those type of things anymore because, uh, well, not anymore. I just couldn't crank them out fast enough. You're wearing a shirt, right? Okay. Um, I couldn't crank them out fast enough to become like profitable 
and make a good amount of money um, doing that. And I got rid of doing the graphs because of the fact that of copyright laws, you know, I did not want to step on anyone's toes. I did not want to get sued. So I finally decided, okay, enough is enough. I'm not going to do that anymore. I don't want anybody coming after me. Um, so logically in my mind, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not crocheting patterns as much. What can I do with yarn? So yarn dyeing it is. So I'm dyeing yarn. I will be doing a video later not tonight because I tried showing yarn on another video, which did, for whatever reason was not working. Um, so I will show another video of the yarns that I've dyed in better lighting. <coughs> Please stop making the squeaky noise. Thank you. Um, so I will be doing another video shortly for that. Um, I'm hoping to have a podcast up on the weekend, but because I'm having this procedure done on Wednesday, I'm not sure. It's not like invasive or anything, but seeing as I'm already losing my voice and they're going to have to stick a tube down my throat, um, I don't know if I'm going to have a voice left for the weekend. <laughs> um, please don't do that, Emma. Sit down on the chair the correct way, please. Um, so yeah, um, also another announcement is we are doing the Supernatural Cal. It started on February 1st. Um, you can use the hashtag, um, Supernatural, oh my God, I forgot to tell you my business name. <laughs> so if you go on Instagram, you can look up Sleepy Fox Yarn Co. Um, there are some sneak peeks up there of the yarn that I have started dying. I was actually dying tonight and that's why my hands are a hot mess because apparently I don't like to use gloves and I forget to sometimes. Um, but Supernatural Cal has started. I have started working on my blanket again and I completely am doing it completely different than before. And I know I've said completely a lot within the last few minutes. So um, your supernatural, um, entry does not have to be based on the show supernatural. It could be from a supernatural tale. It could be a chupacabra story. It could be vampires, werewolves, shapeshifters. It could be fairies, dragons, elves. Um, someone on Instagram, I believe her name is Claudia, if I'm not mistaken, She's actually doing a selkie cow, which was super cool because me and the kids watched the um, Song of the Sea and we learned about the selkie tail. What song is the sea? So, what do you mean, what is Song of the Sea? The movie, silly goose. I can't. With the trolls, or not the trolls. Um, oh my gosh, I completely forgot. It's been a while. Um. So I am working on that supernatural blanket. Um, and for prizes, I have decided I'm going to dye up two yarns, two yarn um, skeins of yarn. Oh my God, my brain. Um, <laughs> I'm going to dye up two skeins of yarn, one inspired by Sam, one inspired by Dean. And that will be part of the prize that I give away because I'm hoping to get a couple at least one other thing per person. So hey, Mommy, I put my face on your yay and the auntie. No, don't like the salt lamp, Jack. Don't do that. Ew. Um so yes, I don't have those other prizes yet, so I'm not gonna say that I have them. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on for the last month that I've been away dealing with a lot of stuff. And I am trying to get better at social media. I have kind of fallen off the earth. Um, I want to do a podcast again, but I've kind of lost my crojo, my crochet knitting mojo. It's kind of left the building. I haven't been doing it as much. Um, which you would think for... You know, you would think that at this time with me being so stressed out with life changes that I would be um 
do doing it more, but I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm really burpy. <sighs> so I will leave it at that. I will see you guys soon. I can't make any promises when. <coughs> but hopefully soon. Um, I know I'm going to be doing a um, video for the yarns to give you guys a sneak peek soon, too. Um, I want to do it. Not right now. Um, because the lighting right now is really crappy. And I tried doing one earlier, and it did not work. So, I will see you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.